When we are told something over and over again, month after month, people eventually start believing it. No, it doesn't matter if we can prove it's fake. It doesn't matter if it's been confirmed over and over again. All we need to be told is the same lie over and over and eventually people will believe it. This psychological attack on people is not understood, but of course, it was written about many years ago by Edward Bernays. Propaganda can control the masses. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. We get numbers out of the government, we are looking at them and we are supposed to accept them as the truth, as reality, but of course nothing can be further from the truth. These numbers are often manipulated, they are changed, they are adjusted, they are revised in order to make things look better than they are. But the truth is that the economy has flatlined. I'm going to show you some of the store closures that have gone on in 2019 and of course it gets worse every single day. You probably saw this video that I did 6,000 stores closing 75,000 more. Apparently they predict that we could see up to 75,000 stores closing over the next several years because of everything that has occurred with retail, with the changes that are happening, with the economy, all the factors together point to more store closures. Nobody really denies that. The only denial really comes with the lack of acknowledgement that the economy isn't doing well. That's where I stand. You're looking here at one very good example right now. Discount chain Fred's announced Thursday it is closing 104 underperforming stores as part of an ongoing effort to rationalize its store footprint. This was just after closing a whole bunch of them. So the announcements come here at a time when we are seeing not just this one store closing, but so many. The Children's Place is opening and closing stores in 2019 as part of a multi year plan to close 300 stores by 2020 they announced plans to close another 40 to 45 stores in 2019 but don't worry because they're gonna be opening up 25 stores over the next two years that's what they say and we know of course it'll probably be half that number if any at all party city says it's closing 45 stores amid a global helium shortage I thought this was interesting so I look into it and funny enough this USA today the article, they didn't even pay attention to what the CEO said. Right here in a statement, the company typically closes 10 to 15 stores each year. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, it's just a little extra. Maybe this is something that has related to what's happening with the helium shortage. No, not at all. It is important to note that Party City's decision to close an increased number of stores in 2019 is completely unrelated to the global helium issue. The decision to close 45 stores in 2019 is part of our network optimization process focusing on maximizing store performance on a market basis. What does that mean? We want to close the stores that aren't performing well. This is what stores do. There's no reason why this will ever change. Profit is the number one factor. The problem I have with all of this is that we are seeing individuals losing their jobs and unfortunately the economy suffers as a result. So I don't have a total of how many stores are currently closing down or announced to close down throughout 2019. The number is definitely exceeded 6,000. It's heading towards 7,000. I'll get you those numbers as soon as I can. But this year is just a bunch of the stores gives you the numbers of some of them that have closed. So I'll just read through a couple names here. CVS, Office Depot, Pier 1, Bed Bath & Beyond, Fred's, Dollar Tree is in here, Abercrombie, Gap, Payless, Sears, H&M, Nordstrom, Macy's, Gymboree, and many, many more. So that's in here. If you want to take a look at all of them, it gives you some more numbers. But I think it's important to understand what is happening today. And this article touches on a point that I wanted to make. New tariffs mean big troubles for retail with plenty of misery to go around. You have to understand these companies here if we get increased tariffs on a lot of these products because previously you're seeing tariffs on steel for example and that's not going to necessarily affect the price of any individual item that you might buy. It will have an impact if you start to see it on the products that you're buying not necessarily the commodities okay so this is going to result in more expensive products. That 
that's a simple matter of fact. If the tariffs add basically a tax on top of them, the companies are going to pass it on to the buyers, the customers. That's just the way it is. They're not going to take a cut. I don't think that people have thought this through. There's no possible way that it's going to benefit in the medium and long term. Maybe the short term, but not the medium and long term. It's simply impossible. Now, if you want to check out the numbers for yourself on a regular basis, although they don't give a running total, this website, dailyjobcuts.com, does give us all of the details that we need. And you're looking at basically three separate columns on the left column is the layoffs in the middle it's bankruptcy and on the right it's closing so you can go through and see all of these different factors as it relates to the daily job cuts in terms of chronological order so you're going to be able to go through for example we're looking here may 19th and it gives us in the top right corner children's place to close 40 to 45 stores and that just shows you there that you can click on the link you can open it up you could see those for yourself. This is a great site because it really tracks all of that. I wish they just had a running total that would be excellent. I tried to look through, I didn't see it. If you know of it, please let me know because I've never been able to find one that is consistently being updated like this, but I just want a total for the year that would be something that I can then show and I could then consistently track and let you all know. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a like on this video when you do so, you're supporting me and this channel. So thank you for that. If you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have everything you need from A to Z, top to bottom. All you need to do is go in the link in the description. You're going to be able to go over to Amazon where they have a look inside feature that will allow you to flip through the pages of the books to see if you like them. If you want the audiobook, that's available at themoneygps.com. If you want to know about the 7 million people in the United States who haven't paid their car bills, you got to watch this video, click on it, and I will see you there.